This is my baby girl. This is the Canon EOS Rebel T5. Great. Fantastic. If you want to get into photography and don't even know what style you want to do or anything like that, get this. Get this. And, you know, the photo quality from this camera is great. It's fantastic. No, I'm not getting paid to do this. I I don't even got that many followers or subscribers to even be getting paid for real. They don't they don't they don't like me yet. Y'all don't like me yet. Gotta put out a couple videos. Whatever. So um yeah, let's get into the video. This will be the first installment of Crown Control where I'll be teaching you everything I know about photography, modeling, and acting. We're gonna be going over the camera basics. We're going to be going over manual mode, aperture, ISO, and shutter speed. So the first thing on our agenda is manual mode. I run into photographers all the time that a lot of them will shoot in like the preset modes of the camera and just use those to kind of go about taking photos for themselves. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but I'm saying, in my opinion, if you want the best possible work that you can put out, I would um, highly recommend putting your camera in manual mode and understanding everything that is in your camera's manual mode to the best of its ability so you can have full control over your camera and over the scene to where you can get exactly what you want out of each and every image. And putting your camera in manual basically turns off all the automatic functions within your camera and gives you the control over them. Put your camera right on that M and let's get, uh, get right into the three main components of manual mode. Cool, first things first, let's talk about aperture. Aperture is basically how much light your, your, um, your lens is allowing to come into the sensor of your camera. This is very important because aperture on your camera is measured by f-stock. The lower your f-stock is, the wider and more open your lens is to um, let in more of the light from your surroundings into your camera. This allows your camera um, to take in all that light and then, you know, process it and do everything it needs to do within the camera to give you a nice, beautiful, crispy image. The more light you let in, the more blur blurrier the background's going to be because your, um, your lens is focused on whatever subject you have it focused on. And with all that light coming in from the background, it's going to blur it out, which makes for nice, great portraitures. Now, if you want, um, say you want to be a landscape photographer, let's say you want to catch a landscape, you want to catch um, a city and everything that's nice going in and all the buildings, you know, uh, the bridge in the background, whatever, whatever's going on in, in the frame. You want to catch it all. Every single last little bit, you don't want nothing blurry. You bump that f-stock all the way up, and, oh, well, not all the way up, but as high as you need it, and it's going to make everything nice and in frame. I hope that helped. If it didn't, let me know in the comments. You know, we can talk it out more, because you know I'm here for you, not, not just on the video, but in life. Next on the agenda, let's talk about shutter speed. Shutter speed is basically how fast your shutter opens and closes while you're taking a picture. It goes, foom, foom. you know what I'm saying? Foom, foom. Every time you take a picture, I hope that. <laughs> well, yeah, that's basically what a shutter is, man. It's, you're just controlling how fast that happens. Now, why is that important? Your shutter speed, the lower your shutter speed, the blurrier your picture is going to be and the more light that is going to be let in. The higher the shutter speed, the darker your image is going to be, but the more crispier your image is going to be. Why is that? It's because we're humans, we have human error. We can't hold a camera entirely, completely still just because you know our, our bodies naturally shake or we have miniature movements that's going to mess it up. So that's why if you have your shutter speed at a higher enough speed, I would say 1 over 160, 1 over 250 is perfect for any kind of um, small movements that may be going on in your scene that you'll be, you'll be golden within that range. Now there are times where you do want a lower shutter speed. Let's say there is a waterfall and you may have seen some of the, these pictures where the water looks just like silk white mist going down the waterfall and like you'd be like how, how do they do that how do they get that picture um it's because they had a lower shutter speed they had they lowered that shutter speed to the point where the shutter opens up 
and it stays up for a, a good little bit because all your shutter is doing is opening up for the sensor to catch all the light coming into the picture well no matter what's going on in your frame as long as that shutter speed is up and your sensor is basically recording what it's seeing is going to go into the picture so if all all the water and water droplets are moving as fast as a waterfall goes and all the light that's refracting off of those that constant movement is coming back into the sensor your camera is going to capture all of that so basically when you see those nice silky waterfalls all you're really seeing is just that shutter being open for a really long time and then your um your camera basically taking all those water droplets and water movement happening all at um over time and then making it into one single picture okay last but not least the easiest of them all iso iso is really easy to understand because it's nothing but fake light your um that your camera provides to bring into the picture when the image is still too dark and you don't know what to do because my aperture is where I want it to be, my shutter is where I want it to be, and if I change those, it might mess everything up. Well, that's what ISO speed is for. ISO basically brings light into your image to where you can brighten it up. Now, you wanna be careful with ISO. ISO can be very dangerous because if you put too much fake light into a scene that doesn't have much light at all, you're gonna end up having a lot of grain and a lot of distortion in your image because you're basically bringing in light that doesn't exist so when you do that your images will get really grainy and you'll come back into Lightroom or Photoshop or whatever you edit it and be like whoa this isn't what I took what is this craziness so use ISO very sparingly like do it just enough so where the image is lit correctly um, especially if you have a lower end camera because I know there was one time where I shot a couple one time and I didn't realize that my ISO was set to the highest setting at 6400. My ISO was way too high and so when I got back into Lightroom those pictures was very grainy. Um, it was very hard to edit those pictures. I had to doctor it up. I had to really doctor those pictures up and even after doctoring them they still didn't come out the best that I wanted. Thankfully the couple actually still liked the photos. So I'm glad that they did but it, it wasn't my best work. I even offered to reshoot them for free because you know you wanna have integrity and pride in your work. So that's all I have for y'all today on Camera Basics. I'm glad that you guys was um, able to stay with here and chill with me for this long all the way out throughout the video. If you liked what you saw, like, comment, subscribe. If you really liked what you saw, hit those post notifications so you can know whenever I post new videos. And I would love to actually see what you guys produce um, and answer your questions if anything. So hit me up at royaltyproductions06 at gmail.com you know send me your photos and then give me little blurbs about what you want, how I can help you or anything like that I would really love and appreciate you for coming be, be supporting my channel and so I want to give back by helping you you know become a better photographer yourself um, again thanks for watching and peace out Thank you.